New in CAAPM 10, Team Center helps speed and simplify the triage of application issues. In this third video, we'll explore the Team Center timeline. Graham and Michael have reported problems. So first, we'll have a look at the map from the owner perspective, so we can see Graham and Michael's areas. We can see that Terry, Jay, and Derek are unlikely to be a part of the problem, so we will remove their components with a filter. Deselect the owners you want to remove from the map. We're going to use Timeline to track back events to investigate Graham and Michael's problems. We can look at the view of the environment for a past time period at any stage. To do this, we'll use Historic Mode in the Timeline. Clicking the Historic Mode freezes the map and disables live updates. The white section of the timeline shows the active period. The map displays the status and the environment at the end of the time range that you select. You can change the time period by dragging and sliding the active period in the timeline. You can change the scale of the timeline by using the mouse wheel or touch gesture like this. You can select a specific time by clicking on the top of the timeline. Clicking on the top of the timeline changes the end time, but keeps the same time range. At any stage, you can also use the time pickers on the left to select a specific time. Icons in the timeline show when change events take place. The plus sign indicates that the number of changes occurred at the same time. By default, we can see status change events. Check the boxes to add topological events and attribute change events to the timeline. Click a change event icon to see details of that event highlighted on the map and in the details panel. To return to current events, click live mode. We hope you enjoyed this quick guide for the APM Team Center timeline. Check out our other quick guides to learn about the Team Center dashboard and map, and Team Center highlighting and perspectives. For more information on CAAPM, go to ca.com/apm.